Okay, so in this problem, um, I already drew the picture for you. Well, the computer did. I didn't actually draw. I can't draw. But um, it says the if, um, find the volume of the vase formed by rotating uh, this equation, x equals 1 eighth y squared plus 1 between y equals plus or minus 2 about the y-axis. So this is this is what what's going on is that this equation is this line right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, the axis. I'm going to draw an axis on top of this picture to help us see it better. Okay, so here's the origin, and this is uh, this purple line is this equation, and then um, down here is uh, plus or minus, so this is y equals negative 2, and then here's uh, plus 2. So that's how tall the base is. And so if I rotate this, this surface right here uh, about the y-axis, so I, I'm going to rotate it around, what I end up with is something that looks like an a nice little vase that you might buy at the store. And so, okay, well you buy this vase at the store and then you want to know the volume of it. Well, you must use calculus. So, okay, well remember the idea is that you grab a, uh, a cross section, a slice, and this time though our slice is going to be Our slice is going to be uh, perpendicular to the y-axis. And so now, um, when I set up my integral, uh, I know I'm going to go from negative 2 to positive 2. But now this time, so remember you integrate the area of the slice. But this time it's going to be with respect to y. And these all match, so I get the area with respect to y because it's changing with y. And then I'm going to go starting from y equals negative 2 to y equals positive 2. Okay, so to find the area, we'll remember that the area equals the area equals, so the area of the slice equals pi r squared, where r is the radius right here. And so the, the radius is simply the value of the function, I mean of the uh, of this equation right here at the given uh, at the given y value. Uh, one eighth y squared plus one. Okay, so then I can I can now find the uh, find the volume. So then the volume is going to equal uh, the integral from negative two to two of pi, and then um, one eighth y squared plus one squared dy. And so remember the idea is that this is the area of one of these little slices and by integrating you're basically taking infinitely small slices, infinitely thin slices and adding all of them up all the way to the top. Okay, so now I, uh, let's do the, um, why don't I expand it to make it easier to see what the uh, integral is. So this is going to be, um, 1 over, this is going to be 1 over uh, 64 y to the fourth plus uh, 2 times first times second. So this is 1 fourth y squared plus 1 dy. Okay, let me take the, the pi outside actually. 
All right, so then the antiderivative of this guy is going to be y to the fifth over uh, 64 on the bottom times 5 plus y to the third over 12 plus 1 y evaluated from negative 2 to 2 and I forgot the parentheses so the pi is multiplying everything okay so let me uh, continue down here uh, while I plug everything in so I'm gonna have pi times I'm gonna plug in 2 this is gonna be 2 to the fifth over 64 times 5 well, that's 320 plus 2 to the third over 12 plus 2 and then minus negative 2 to the fifth over 320 minus negative 2 to the third over 12 minus negative 2 and notice all these negatives are going to turn into plus and if you have a, uh, a careful eye you you might have noticed that in, since it's symmetric we could have just done uh, the integral from 0 to two, 0 to 2 multiplied by 2 because these are exact this chunk and this chunk are basically the same because this chunk below the x-axis and the chunk above the x-axis are the same as well but uh, well now we, we're already into it and so all we need to do is uh, simplify and so what we get is 83 pi over 15 and that's the volume